So we're in Half Moon Bay. We're gonna check out this restaurant called Sam's Chowder House. It's supposed to be bomb.com. Right on the ocean too. It's just a little gray though, you can't really see anything. You recording me now? Talk shit over there? That's right. <laughs> It's, it's foodie weekend. Foodie it and is weights. foodie. We're like the tourists of food places. Food and weights. Food and weights. Food and weights. Yeah. <laughs> so we just slept like a few hours in the car because we've been driving since 2 in the morning. Had weigh ins. That went well. Made weight. Um, now we're going to check out um, Sam's Chowder House. I heard they got really good. Uh, clam chowder is one of my favorite uh, right on the ocean too, but it looks like it's like smoky We had a lot of fires in California for sure. So it's kind of crappy out there, but It is what it is. So we're in Half Moon Bay We're gonna check this place out get some food uh, And then go check in the hotel and definitely rest That is on deck, Joe Green is in the hole, and Deborah Stern, you are four out. If you are squatting, you need to be well warmed up for your second attempts. Are you ready for that? Let's go. Give her a hand here. Let's get behind her here. Come on. 160 kilos on the bar. 300. This is a strong, strong lady. Nice and easy lift. Judges say lift is good. That is a This would have been a third attempt for the strongest female in some of the comps I got. And this is now the standard, 380 pounds. It's crazy. Be confident, let's go, let's go. Get behind her here, Bush, Bush, Bush. Oh. Oh. Nice. 107 pounds. Let's get behind her here. This is a personal record. 407 kilos, or 407 pounds. 407 kilos would be amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get down, get it down. Up, 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 up. Let's see what the judges say. We got white light, two to one. Let it come back and smoke it. This is a personal record. 407 kilos, or 407 pounds. 407 kilos would be amazing. Let's go! At 10 up. Let's go. Get down, get it down. Up, 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 up. Yeah! Let's see what the judges say. We got one fight, two to one. Before 
I get back home? Oak chart, barrels, the mortar for my stone Eyes can't hurt me, but they cut down on my bones So a quick uh, recap of the meet. It was a lot of fun, uh, totally different. It's the first time I competed outside of uh, my gym at American Iron and here in Reno. Uh, it was in Mountain View, California. Boss of Bosses is a big deal, I guess it's international. Um, so there was people from Greece, there's people from Australia there. Uh, the biggest meet I've done yet. The most nerve-wracking part is definitely the squats. Uh, they have a different model lift, completely different than ours. Um, the rack, the little racks that come out are really far forward, so that was kind of difficult to get underneath. They messed up on my height rack, so initially it took like over a minute, and I was in my knee reps for too long for them to adjust the height rack finally, and that was stressful, but luckily I was able to push through and do it. I felt really, really wobbly the first squat, but um, I was able to do it, and I passed, so that was good. Uh, I started with 350 pounds, first attempt, moved up to 385, and then Benjamin picked that number 407. 407 pound squat, fucking awesome. I've never even done 400 pounds in my life, so that was a very proud achievement for me. Um, after squats, uh, it wasn't until like 3 p.m. until I was able to bench. It was a long meet, 12 hour day. Uh, the bench, I was so close. I the first two were super easy. I opened up with 214, uh, 226, and then we attempted 242 pound bench, and my elbows flared out, and that's why I lost that strength uh, from the back to be able to push, I guess. But I held it for six seconds, so that was exciting. I was so proud. I was so close, so I was kind of upset if I couldn't get that mid 242 bench because I never even benched that much yet in competition, uh, you know, with that pause and the keep going and yeah. Anyways, I'm just rambling. I'm exhausted. I've been working my ass off. The hospital's kicking my butt. A lot of uh, a lot of days at the hospital, basically full time. A lot of paperwork there, plus my own clientele at the gym. Otherwise, it was a great meet. I uh, had a fantastic time with my fiance uh, Benjamin. He was such a good coach and you know very supportive. He was always there with me, and I love that. I really love that, and I finally have that in my life, and I'm just really happy. Uh, definitely blessed to have him. So I'm very thankful to have him. The Monterey, not Monterey. We went to Half Moon Bay and everything like that. That was a fun little mini vacation we did right after the meet. Um, this was a total PR of 38 pounds more than my last meet uh, in March. And I hope to get, next time I'm going to compete, it looks like it's going to be March in, at my gym, American Iron. Uh, maybe we can get like 11.50 total. It was a 22 PR for squat, definitely. Uh, so if I can definitely get uh, a mid 240, you know, 200 bench, uh, mid 400 for deadlift, and then mid 400 uh, or so for squat, That'd be pretty darn good. And maybe next year I'll actually get invited to the main event because you have to be invited to the main event of Boss of Bosses. It's a big deal to get uh, invited, so we'll see what happens. I'm not sure. I guess I won first and overall. 
I did not stay for the award ceremony because after that I was like, peace, we're on vacation because it was a 12 hour meet. Like I said, it was exhausting. So we went and enjoyed ourselves and went to the ocean and went to a Brazilian steakhouse and just had a blast. But um, so I should be getting my very first check in the mail. I don't know how much it's going to be. It doesn't really matter. It's just exciting. The fact that I actually won something other than just a medal, I guess. Um, that's a pretty proud moment because I've been competing my whole life in other things. Like I wrestled for nine years, bodybuilded for like, you know, six or seven years. And now I just recently gone to this powerlifting. This is only my third meet. Um, and to actually win something like that's pretty sweet. Like, whoa, where is it going to go? So I always just go into a meet with, you know, the most utmost positive mindset and to try to do the best I can do and beat my numbers, um, you know, and to meet new people. And it's really cool just meeting new people. Which is so weird to say because I used to be very shy. <laughs> so it was exciting. Um, very thankful with my gym. Our gym is very uh, family oriented and so we're all very supportive. A lot of our gym members were there. Um, our gym owners were actually the judges so it felt like you never really left home. It was just like another day of training except you're doing it in front of a crowd and on live stream for bodybuilding.com. So that was exciting. It was definitely an experience and I hope to do it again next year and just do the best I can do. Uh, other than that, I haven't really lifted heavy since the meet. It's been three weeks. Just taking my time, easing back into things. Um, and I won't be competing until March, so it's quite, quite a while, but hopefully work on my uh, technique and fine-tuning the things I need to fine-tune in order to do even better next time. Otherwise, that's all I got right now. Thank you for watching uh, the Savage Channel. You so fucking precious when you smile <laughs> yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I lose myself up in those eyes